So we may not be able to make a $1,000 or £1,000 braid or we may not be able to afford, you know, luxury items or luxury brands, the shoes, the bags and everything. But I can tell you that we can slay on a budget. I hi guys welcome back to my channel it's princess asha here if this is your first time thank you for clicking on this video to watch and if you are a returning subscriber or this is not your first time here welcome back to the channel okay so um today's video it's is another self-development video i mean and i'm particular about my babes who consider themselves broke they want to look good but they don't want to break the bank they want to look good but they, they can't afford certain luxury items or they can't afford branded items i saw a video on instagram where people were saying oh it was about patricia bright and people were like oh how can she spend one thousand pounds to braid her hair and all that stuff i mean she can afford it so why not but as a babe that is hustling that is still trying to you know settle down in life and know what's up with the whole recession and everything you're still trying to look nice and you're still trying to you know look good and save costs this video is for you basically if you are that babe that wants to be like patricia bright that wants to be like jackie aina that wants to be like alia's face and the likes on a budget this video is for you, okay? Not everybody can afford luxury items. Not everybody can afford to braid their hair for 1,000 pounds. Not everybody can afford to buy Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Chanel. Not everybody can afford to do that. So we can still look good. We can still look classy on a budget. So keep watching this video to the very end to learn certain tips on how to become that babe all right so the first point on my list to be your dressing so if you want to be expensive if you want to look like you have your stuff together without you know people saying oh this babe is a poor babe or this babe is just unkept she's ras and you want to you know identify as that girl like people like um you want to look like people like you know jackie aina you want to look like people like the big big names on instagram and big babes on instagram i would advise you to always try to look your best you don't necessarily need to shop where they shop at you don't necessarily need to have designer items all you need to do is to make sure that your dressing is in check and how do you do this the first thing i would advise you to do is since you can't shop in expensive stores and since you can't shop at branded names or branded stores i would advise you to thrift thrifting is not bad sometimes you find treasures there you find certain designer items there actually so if you thrift you spend less and you get unique and nice pieces as well also another tip when shopping is to look for specific pieces that you can style five or ten multiple ways depending you can style it two, two ways or three ways but look for pieces that you know that you can wear in five different ways and they will bring your look together so if you want to buy let me say if you go to the thrift store and you see a khaki if you look for a khaki that you know you can wear with maybe three or four different tops and they would all blend and they will look nice so it looks like you're changing your look but on a budget okay so you tend to have five different looks with one cloth yeah so that's a tip when you're shopping shop for things that, that you can style different ways okay another tip is to have specific important outfits okay the little black dress i remember growing up and watching e and they always talked about the little black dress yes the little black dress every woman is supposed to have that little black dress 
when in doubt throw on your little back black dress and go and you look nice you look amazing because black goes with anything you can style it up you can style it down you can dress it up you can dress it down whichever way so always have a little black dress in your closet have a white dress as well because i mean white is something that also gives that whole rich classy elegant look so have a black dress have a white dress have black pants that you can dress up and dress down as well you can either dress corporately you can dress it casually as well you can wear it with a top you can wear it with a shirt so have a black pair of pants in your wardrobe that you can wear different ways then also have a pair of one good blue jean and one good black jean it, it, it doesn't matter if it's skinny if it does it doesn't matter if it's a mom jean just have those basics and those specifics they will help you a lot and you can style them multiple different ways then you sh you also should have a white t-shirt and a white top as well a white t-shirt to dress it up and a white top to dress it down so if you have these things also i'll say a black shirt or a black top whichever one because they go with everything they will help you a lot so get specific items into your wardrobe or into your closet that will help you when in doubt and then you can wear them multiple different ways okay another tip again concerning your clothes will be to always make sure that your clothes are ironed if your clothes are nice even if you get them from high designer brands and they are not nice looking they're not ironed they're not well kept you look tacky you look cheap and everybody will associate you for oh the broke girl she, she's trying to feel or form like she belongs but she doesn't so yeah that's another tip make sure that your clothes are always ironed yes you may get them from the thrift store but when you wash them and you iron them you're good to go okay and then another tip just to add will be to have like the colors in your wardrobe should be colors that you can play with like that's what i was talking about blacks i was talking about whites and also tan is another good color although it may not necessarily fit everybody but just look for colors that you want to play around with colors that blend and you know work well together with each other so that when you are when you're switching off switching up rather your design maybe you want to wear your blue jean with another top or something it blends not when you're wearing when you want to change now because of the colors you can't actually match them because the colors will be everywhere so make sure the colors are colors that actually go together with everything you can go online and browse colors that go together so that when you're shopping even when you want to get a particular design of something you can get it in a particular color so that everything goes together okay yeah so that's it for dressing and then number two on my point would be your hair i'm not talking about weeds now or anything i'm talking of your natural hair and your look together so another thing that will make you put look put together is your hair actually your hair brings it all together if your makeup is nicely done your dress is okay and your hair is, ta is, is tacky it will just downgrade your look so your hair is very important and when i'm talking about hair i don't necessarily mean oh you have to buy human hair we are talking about being on your budget right so you can style your natural hair in a very very nice way wash it make sure it's neat pack it in a very nice way and you're good to go make sure that your hair is always neat and laid if you must wear a wig like mine make sure it's laid and very nice okay that's another way to looking good on a budget make sure that your hair is always good if you can't afford to buy wigs if you can't afford to use wigs wash your hair at least twice a month at least twice a month in fact once is even okay but make sure you wash your hair style it in a very nice way lay your edges down make sure that your hair is always looking clean and neat okay so if you cannot afford to braid your hair style your natural hair there are also diy videos on how to style your natural hair on youtube i have a couple you can check those you do that on your budget and you save a lot of money you don't need to go and spend one thousand pounds on your hair okay so style your hair make sure that it's always looking nice also you don't necessarily have to use human hair if you can afford it that's fine make sure that it's always you know revamp it from time to time every three months or max 
six months so that it's always looking nice and then you style it in a very nice way so that people will address you the way you look okay if you can't afford to have a, a human hair wig you can go for nice synthetic hairs don't use heat on it it will damage it just make sure that you always comb it out and air dry it so that the smell and the sweat and everything comes out of it so you don't need to spend so much money on your hair to look nice after you've gone thrift shopping make sure that your hair is good dress up pack your hair nicely and you're good to go all right so that's number two make sure your hair is always good there's so much that your hair can do for you you have no idea some of you are always looking tacky because your hair is the problem number three will be to get a signature look yes get a signature look if you're going to if you're going to look expensive if you're going to be known if you're going to make people or if you want people to remember you as someone who is always looking put together on a budget without them knowing that you're on a budget you want them to feel like oh this person is actually a baby girl another thing is to get a signature look yes when you're shopping for things you buy things that you want to be known for so if you want to be a girly girl that you want people to remember you as a girly girl a sweet girly baby girl you go for dresses, you go for feminine things, things that will bring out your curves, your body and all that stuff. So you lean towards dresses. When you're going to shop, you buy things that will, you know, fit that aesthetics. You buy dresses, you buy skirts, you buy, you know, just things that make you very, very feminine. Nice tops, long tops, tag tops, however, whichever. Those are the things that you should buy and that's how you should dress and style yourself so that when people see you they say oh she's always putting on a dress she's more of a girly girl if you want to be a tomboy if you want to be a tomboy girl you can go for you know the baggy the baggy mom jeans the trousers the pants you're always in pants that's what you want to be known for that's fine you can get things like that that will suit your aesthetic so if you want to be known as girly girl buy things that fits that aesthetics buy dresses buy skirts buy tank tops buy tops that will flatter your body and all that and if you want to be a tomboy that's your signature look that you're going for then lean to buying you know buying things that will make you look like that okay so that you always be remembered as that girl and everybody will know your style that's another way to make sure that you're looking nice on a budget and you're always getting it. You're always A1 when you dress. <laughs> okay. Then fourth point, the fourth point on my list would be to, you know, up your fragrance, like build up your fragrance and smell nice. Have a signature scent as well. So after doing all these things, if you don't smell well, if you don't have a signature scent, people will not associate you with being a baby girl. Because now we are trying to be on a budget, right? I'm giving you tips on how not to break the bank but still look good. Don't forget. So I know a lot of people will say, oh, no, 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 it's for rich people, it's expensive. Lie, lie, I say, lie, lie, <laughs> okay? So one thing that will help you with your scent and with your smell is to use a deodorant. First of all, you should shower, but that's another point, okay? Hygiene is another point. But use a deodorant. You build your scent from, you know, you level it up. You layer your scent. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. You layer your scent. So you use a very good deodorant. Make sure your armpits are not smelling, first of all. First of all, you've washed your clothes. You've ironed it. So your clothes is not smelling, okay? So your body now has to smell nice as well. So you use a deodorant. To make sure that your armpits and every other place is dry and smelling nice all right then you go in with a body spray or a body mist most of these body mist and body sprays are very cheap i think you can get them for from two five so you can build you can get if you don't have money to buy perfume you can start from body mist and you can start using them and all that stuff so that's one use your deodorant get body mist if you cannot afford anything higher than that stop there but just make sure that you consistently use your deodorant and your body mist okay and make sure that you have a particular one that you lean towards one that you like that you can people can associate you with when you come into a place they'll say oh this person was just here when you leave this person was just here i 
I, I don't really know. Different people have different, um, you know, takes on that. So people like to have different scents so that people don't know. Some prefer to have one particular one, whichever works for you. If you want to have different ones, you can. But just make sure you smell nice, okay? Every boss babe, every girl should smell nice. So after you use your, if you if you if you want to now move to the next step after getting your body body um body spray, you can get body mist or you can get Arabian perfumes. Those ones are really really cheap in the market, and they go a long way. They smell really nice, so you can still buy those and add to your collection and keep buying different ones and adding to your collections. The more perfumes you have, the more they'll last for you that's it so you can have up to five you can have up to ten depending on your pockets you know we are talking about budgets here so if you can afford one stick to one if you like it continue with it okay just make sure that you smell nice make sure that your perfume your deodorant your body spray body mist your perfume smells nice if you can now upgrade to getting you know designer perfumes and whatnot that's fine but for my girls on the budget just get one Arab arabian scent and they, they last they last and they are very strong so it will do you good to get yourself one okay another tip is to use perfume oils so if you say you cannot even afford the arabian perfumes or you cannot even afford the original perfumes or body mist or whatever buy perfume oils perfume oils you can get they smell exactly like the designers just that they are in oil form and they will last long for you so get yourself a perfume oil and even if you have all these things you it will still do you good to get a perfume oil because perfume oils help your perfumes last longer and it makes you smell good because it's oil when you apply it it blends into your body and it leaves its signature scents on you okay so the fifth point will be to pay attention to the little details i cannot see you cannot be better than every other girl or you cannot be better than the next person beside you or the person beside you if you don't pay attention to details that's what will make you stand out okay and when i mean pay attention to the little details i'm talking about nails hygiene skincare all those little little extra things that you add okay so we are on a budget i can't afford to fix my nails just make sure your nails are clean make sure they are neat buy nail polish and just polish it do it yourself it will save you a lot of money make sure that your nails are always clean and nice if you can now afford to fix and you can't fix acrylic fix normal stick ons or buy from the market buy super glue stick it on there's so much your nails will it, it will just add that whole extraness to you start feeling like a boss babe and so make sure that your nails are clean if you must fix fix nice neutral colors if you want to fix shouty colors well it's harder to maintain i say this because I have natural color nails on my fingers right now if they start to grow and they start to get old it will be difficult for you to tell that they are not my nails and it will, be, it will not look as tacky as it will look if i had red because the contrast will be so obvious that you will know that my nails are getting old so if you must fix and you want to look aesthetically pleasing and you want to look put together and nice i'll say you should go for neutral colors and make them you know let the length not be so ridiculous because that whole length thing i, I really don't know i really don't know I, I don't know well different folks different strokes but anyways just make sure that they are short and not so long if you like them long not so long just decent enough and make sure they are in neutral colors okay that's for nails so the next point will be your hygiene your hygiene is very important as a girl when you open your mouth to speak, people should not be running away from you. Make sure that you brush your mouth, brush your teeth, clean your tongue. Make sure your breath is always smelling nice and fresh, okay? Shower, have your bath. Shower at least twice a day. Yes, I said at least because some places are very hot. Some people tend to shower three times. So whatever works for you, but at least shower twice a day. After showering, use your lotion apply cream on your body you don't want to be looking ashy okay you don't want to be looking tacky so shower and apply your lotion to look nice and then smell good okay we've already spoken about smelling nice use your deodorant use your body spray body mist and everything just hygiene shave 
every part of your body that needs to be shaved you don't need to spend money on that you can do it yourself you don't need to go to the spa to get wax if you cannot afford it if you can afford it that's fine we're talking about staying within budget okay so get your shaving stick or vit whichever one works for you and shave and then after that wash your clothes iron them make sure they are always smelling nice spread them under the sun to get rid of that damp smell and everything just make sure that your hygiene is always okay all right make sure that your hygiene is always in check all right then the next point under paying attention to details will be skincare i, I put this one last because not everybody can afford it but it's it's quite important as well because your older self would thank you for doing skincare right now all right so there are four things that i'll say you should just do in your routine in your small routine as someone under a budget cleanse your face get a cleanser get a vitamin c serum get a moisturizer and get a sunscreen that's four if you can afford to get these four things that's fine if you can't we move it down to three get a cleanser get a vitamin c serum and get a moisturizing sunscreen also affordable cheaper than the first step right if you can't afford to do this three step either then we can step it down to two which is cleanse your face and use a a sunscreen sorry very important a sunscreen is very important it will help you with anti-aging this can cost you under ten thousand naira. if you must do skincare you can do any of these steps that i have suggested but consult a dermatologist or do your own research first i will not recommend any products for you to use do your research first before you start using any of them okay so if you do these things if you if you have a good hygiene you do your skincare your nails are always looking nice and all that you're good to go in that aspect you're good to go all right and then our final point which is the sixth is to be knowledgeable so your nails is in check your your hygiene is in check you look nice your dress is okay you know how to style yourself your hair is okay you smell nice but you have nothing up here that's not the look we are looking for okay we need people who know how to speak who are knowledgeable people will look at you and say that babe she's fine she knows how to dress i love her style she smells nice her hygiene her hair and she has something upstairs people will look for you it will set you for great to set you up for greatness you will stand out you will do great things that's what will make you different from just the person beside you okay so let us try to be as knowledgeable as possible let's learn let's read books let's watch youtube videos these days everything is on youtube you watch youtube videos you learn a thing or two you build yourself if it's to start a business to give you extra source of income to be a boss babe do that just make sure that you're always on top of your game you know things you are doing like you are doing big things okay that's how we we'll all be boss babes and that's how we we'll continue to slay on the budget before you know it and you have left us you have left the chat you are now really with big girls <laughs> You're not doing big things and really with big girls. You will not start braiding your hair for 1,000 pounds. Who knows? Okay. So yeah, these are the tips that I just thought to come and share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up. YouTube will recommend my videos if you do. Please help my hustle I beg. Just like, share, comment. Don't just watch and go. Just like, share and comment. If there's anything you want me to improve on, you can comment that as well. Please, so that my videos can be engaging and reach a wider audience. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to share most importantly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if there are anything, any other videos that you want me to do for you guys, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to do that for you guys. And yeah, um, until next time, bye guys. Oh, <laughs>